Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to install and activate properly your Airlo eSIM step by step. Before we start, I have included my affiliate link and referral code in the description below, so make sure you use them if you want to save up some money. Let's start. Whether you're using an iPhone or Android, this quick guide will show you exactly how to get your Airlo eSIM working even before you board your flight. So Airlo is an eSIM provider that allows you to stay connected with their data plans in over 200 countries worldwide. No physical SIM cards or no roaming fees. But first things first, not all phones support eSIM. If you have an iPhone XS or newer, or most recent Samsung Galaxy devices, or any other Android model, you should be good to go. But make sure to review Airlo app and website where you will find a complete list of eSIM compatible devices. But here's the catch. Your phone also needs to be network unlocked in order to install your Airlo or any other third-party eSIM. If you still do not know if your device is network unlocked, check out unlockriver.com. It's a trusted service used worldwide to unlock phones safely and permanently. I will leave a link to a video in the description where I'll show you exactly how to check your phone's network status and if needed, how to unlock it. Now that you have verified that your phone is fully eSIM compatible, go ahead and download the Airlo app from the App Store or from the Google Play Store. So open it and then head to the Store section. Here you will find three types of eSIMs, local, regional, and global eSIMs. Local work in one specific country, regional eSIMs, and global support connectivity in multiple countries with one single eSIM. But they do have plans that include a phone number in case you need to make calls or text messages, and these are just available in their global plans. Just remember that with their data plans, you will still be able to call through WhatsApp and similar applications with internet calling features. Now let's go back to local eSIMs and we're gonna purchase our first eSIM plan. If you're a first time user, you're gonna see that at the top, you will get the offer to get a free eSIM. This is only available in some specific regions or countries. So check if this option is available in your destination. It's a great way to test the service before you buy it. But let's go back. So let's select the plan. We're gonna select Spain. I have already used my free eSIM, so I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna purchase an eSIM of one gigabyte. Then let's proceed with the checkout. And if you're a new user, you will be required to sign up. Here, make sure you fill in your name, your last name, email, password, and in the referral section, make sure that you use our referral code in case you wanna save up some money. I have already created an account, so I'm gonna go back to login and I'm gonna log in. At the checkout order, just review what you're purchasing and complete your order. So let's proceed, place the order. Perfect, our eSIM is ready and our order has been successfully placed. Let's go back to my eSIMs. So here in the eSIM section, you will see all the eSIMs you have purchased. This is the latest one we just got, so tap on details and we're gonna proceed with installation. Let's tap on view instructions. Now here you will have three options to install the eSIM direct installation, QR code, or manual installation. If you select manual installation, you have to go to the phone settings and enter the SMDP address and activation code manually. You can also use the QR code, which is a very simple method. Simply send this code to another device and scan it with this phone. To scan a QR code, simply go to the settings of your device, click on mobile service or cellular, scroll down, add eSIM, and here you'll have two options. Let's tap on use QR code. Alternatively, you can enter details manually. Simply copy and paste the SMDP address and activation code provided by Airlo. But let's go back and use a simple direct installation method. Tap on direct and tap where it says install eSIM. Make sure that your device is connected to Wi-Fi and has a stable internet connection when attempting to install any eSIM. So let's proceed. This may take a minute, so be very patient. Perfect, your new eSIM is ready to activate. Let's proceed. Now the device is installing the eSIM, but the eSIM won't be activated until you connect to the network of your destination. Now it's connecting to the network. For Android devices, the process is pretty much the same. Go to Settings, Connections, SIM Manager, and add an eSIM. Now select the option Scan QR Code. In here, you will be able to add the eSIM manually or simply scan the QR code from Airlo and follow the instructions. Perfect, activating eSIM. You can continue using your iPhone while the eSIM is activated. Let's tap on Done. 
Now, if you have multiple eSIMs, you will get the option to rename your eSIMs. Personal, this one is the one we just installed. For this example, let's name it Erlo. Let's go back and let's proceed. Now select Erlo as our mobile data plan. Perfect, our eSIM has been successfully installed. Now there's one last step that we have to do. Let's go back to the home screen, tap on settings, go to cellular or mobile service, and if you scroll down under the SIM section, you will see your eSIM from Erlo. Now here's the final step, tap on it, and when you land, make sure that you activate data roaming. This will instantly activate the eSIM as soon as it connects to the local network. So in order to activate your eSIM, tap data roaming on. If you click on data mode, you can select the speed at which your eSIM will consume the data. The higher the speed, the higher the consumption rate. Higher speed is great for streamers or social media users. Standard is a great option if you want to use your phone for navigating maps, messages, and low data mode will get a little bit slower, but it will last you longer. We'll leave it at standard. Let's go back. Now, if you have multiple eSIMs, here's a tip. When you land at the destination, simply tap on the primary eSIM and make sure that data roaming is disabled. This will ensure that your device only gets data from your Aerolo eSIM. If you want to be extra cautious, go up and deactivate completely this line. Just keep in mind that you won't be able to receive SMS or calls on this line. So let's go back and we can see that the Aerolo has been successfully installed. And that's it. That's how you install and activate an Aerolo eSIM. Make sure you don't forget to use our affiliate link and referral code on your next purchase. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a safe trip.